Hey y'all, it's Nona. Today I'm here with a collab with Andrea from It's All About the Face. And I believe this is the first collab she's done, so I'm excited that she's doing it with me. And what we decided to do today is a look using the uh, ColourPop Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette. Um, Andrea's been doing a series on her channel um, of ColourPop hauls and try-ons and uh, where she just talks about the palettes and everything. So we decided that we would kind of play off that series and do a ColourPop look. And um, we did sort of a palette bingo. Um, she chose two shades, I chose two shades, and then we both settled on a fifth. And so the shades we're gonna be using is this bottom row and then this bright orange. So, Hmm. I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to put that in my crease. A little bit about Andrea. I started watching her when I was doing Dollar Tree hauls and um, she was doing like um, she's doing makeup videos, but she was also doing like planner videos and craft stuff and She was just doing a variety of things on her channel and um, And we got to talking and we became friends and uh, Now we text and we're on Facebook together and all that good jazz and She took a break from YouTube for a while because she had moved and um so she recently came back and we decided to do this collab and I'm excited about that. She's a really sweet lady, very, very sweet and um, very supportive and she's a good friend and I know that you all would enjoy her. So when you get done watching my video, I hope you will go over to her channel and subscribe and watch some videos and comment and like and share and do all that good YouTube stuff as my friend Omnia says um, I love doing collabs y'all already know that so next I think I'm going to Let's see, what do I want to do? What I want to do. Andrea picked that really pretty bright orange. So y'all know I love that. Let's see, I need to pick up another brush. Hang on. Why can't I find the brush I want? Good gracious. I'll use this one, but I've got to clean it, y'all. Sorry. I've just been uninspired to film lately. And I've gotten behind. I don't know what the deal is. I've been watching everybody. But I've just been... I haven't been feeling the best. And then I just... I guess I've been depressed. And I've been so tired. And... So I'm going to go into this orange in my crease. So I'm glad to do this collab to get me out of this funk and get me back on camera. I have been watching well I watched um the documentary Blackfish. Are y'all familiar with that? It's about SeaWorld and how they're supposedly mistreating the, the orcas. And um, it was mostly about a big, a big bull whale named Tillicum. And um, anyways, it was just it was a really sad documentary and. 
So I've been watching lots of videos about the shows at SeaWorld and I'm kind of torn. You know, all my life I've wanted to visit SeaWorld and see the orcas. But now that I've watched that documentary, I just feel like it's cruel to keep them there. But then at the same time, other people, scientists and, and what have you say that, you know, it's better to keep them there now that they were born there and they've been raised there because they wouldn't be able to, you know, make it in the wild on their own if you release them. So, I'm just, I don't know. It just it made me really sad. And I kind of got myself in a little rut of watching those videos. And so... Anyways, the whale that it was about, Tillicum, he passed away in 2017. And, um, if y'all don't want to hear what happened, uh, I mean, it was on the news and everything. This is not a movie. It's, it's true story. So, I don't know that I'm giving any spoilers, but, um, he had killed three different people. Two trainers, 20 years apart, and then this homeless guy that had snuck into SeaWorld and gotten into his pen with him, stripped naked and got in the pen with this 12,000 pound orca and <clears throat> why would anyone do that? But anyways, he passed away so and they anyways, they've got it to where the government has I, uh made stipulations that SeaWorld can't hunt for whales in U.S. waters and then you know I'm gonna go into this color here mermaid boy and I'm gonna put that on the lid and they um, the general public has you know stopped going to SeaWorld and boycotted and everything and to the point where SeaWorld has agreed to stop breeding the ones that they have in captivity. They're not going to breed them anymore. And then when this generation passes away, I guess they're not going to have orcas in captivity anymore. Which is kind of sad to me in a way, but kind of makes me happy for the whales. When they started SeaWorld, it was upon the premise that they would do educational things and they were going to research the animals and everything. That was the only way the government would allow them to capture and keep the animals. But people say that, you know, they're not doing, I'm going to blend that out again with the orange. People, you know, are saying that they're not doing educational stuff they're just doing tricks with them and withholding food and uh stuff like that to get them to do the tricks so it's a sad deal have any of y'all ever watched it what do y'all think about it I mean, obviously, I feel bad for the people that were killed, but this is a, you know, a 12,000-pound animal. Why would you get in the tank with it? And the first trainer fell in. She slipped and fell in, so it was totally not her fault. And then the guy that snuck in the park, that was to me was totally his fault I mean he wasn't supposed to be there he obviously was not trained to be around the animals and so I mean I'm not blaming a person I don't know what his mindset was but I mean it's just a it's a it's just not black and white to me the whole issue
so that looks a little weird to me for some reason <clears throat> I'm gonna go into this color and I'm gonna put it on my outer V I'm just going to put a little bit at a time because every time I do my outer V, I wreck my look. <laughs> I am having such a hard time blending that. What's the deal? back into the orange a little bit. I just do not like the way that blended out at all. Not at all. It's just like the shadow is not wanting to stick. Hmm. Huh. Thinking that's as good as it's gonna get, so I'm just gonna blend back in with that orange a little bit. I got some tons of fallout there. Goodness. So let me go ahead and do the other side. I just love animals and I just I hate to see any animal abused or mistreated or anything. I'm one of those people that can see 20 people get killed in a movie and you know, it's sad, but did the dog survive? <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's how I am. Back into the orange. Hmm. And of course they look nothing alike. <laughs> Went a little ham there. But we're gonna go with it. Uh oh, I dropped my brush. Oops, I'll have to get that in a minute. But I just can't get a blend like I want it to. using y'all as my mirror so I'm gonna I think that's about it I'm gonna take some of my benefit highbrow and I'm gonna put that under my lashes under my lashes under my brows 
I need to sharpen it. Yeah, I'm gonna sharpen it real quick. It's the first time I'm sharpening it. I'm sad, so I don't wanna use it up because I love it so much. Hmm. Hold the mirror the right way, Nona. I love that. Super pretty. Or I think it's super pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take this shade and run it under my lower lash line. I'm going to clean up this fallout. I'm going to put on some of this little black card candy eyeliner in my waterline and some CoverGirl Super Sizer and I'll be back to do some lips. And this is the finished eye look. And it is not my best work. I couldn't get the brown to blend like I wanted it to. So I feel like the whole look is muddied up but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lips and I picked out this velveteen and it's by lime crime and it's in the color squash I thought it was a pretty fall color And that is the finished look. That lip might be a little bright for this look. <laughs> I kind of thought the orange would show up more in my look, but anywho, please go over and check out Andrea's channel. I know you're gonna love her as much as I do. Um, Andrea, thank you so much for collabing with me, sweetie. You know I love you, and I hope we do it again sometime. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.